All right, guys, this uh, plushy stocking, I paid 50 cents for it. It has the tag on it. I bought it the first week of October at Spoon River Drive. Kind of a rare thing. You see, like, there'll be two or three of these listed from different teams, but to find your specific team is probably a little difficult because, like, I think there's a Raiders one and mine listed right now. And in the last 90 days, there's been one other Bears one and a Cowboy one sold. So, like, the thing isn't rare, but, like, to find your team of the 38 teams probably is a little hard to do. Uh, this sold for $20 free shipping, or no, plus shipping. And then Snuffy, we just picked him up uh, on the last video earlier this week. He's been listed for, like, maybe maybe two days, probably not two days. Sold for, I paid $2, sold for $20 free shipping, and I'll throw him in a poly mailer. Not making a ton of money at that price because it'll cost six bucks, and then I probably had it promoted, probably sold promoted at 11%, so I'm paying 20 something percent of the $20, which would be four uh, plus six dollars to ship is 10 plus the two dollars I'm into it is 12 and I made eight so I mean I spent two and make eight in two days that's pretty good um and then the only other thing that sold it's already packaged and labeled these three they might be giants of CDs I when I find three or four CDs from the same artist and they're a dollar or 50 cents I'll pick them up and lot them together it has to be kind of the right artist or a bigger lot but they might be giants isn't like uh it's obscure enough that you're not going to see it all the time, and it's popular enough that somebody might actually be looking for it. So it kind of hit that niche where, like, or like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, really popular stuff, buying three at a time would make sense. But, like, if it's Garth Brooks or Brooks and Dunn or, like, something that would have a hard time selling by itself, I don't think I would do three of that artist, uh, Limp Biscuit. <laughs> something that that wouldn't have as much appeal but would but I would sell in a bigger lot of like 15 country CDs uh, but then you have to pick them up for nothing all right uh, I have three I have two items to get shipped this morning and then my sales have been abysmal a hundred and twenty dollar average over the last three days and I'm promoting and I'm getting things out on time and I haven't listed a lot, but I have been listing. You guys have seen that I've gone to the thrift store and got stuff to list. Um, I'm going to have to figure it out today. That's the plan. Okay, so this kid is playing in fifth grade with the sixth grade orchestra and needs some... Uh, he, needs, he needs a black dress shirt that he doesn't already have. So... Rather than play in retail, we're going to thrift it and see what else we can find to make money. Are you going to find some bangers? Probably not, Aww. but okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It is pretty thin. Not much of a crowd in here. Look at that thing. That's craziness. 20 bucks. What is that? It's a fancy necklace. Coats. They are, it is a quality merchandise that would serve you well. It is not worth reselling. <laughs> yes, this might be a good jacket. It looks like an older tag. L.L. Bean, made in the U.S., eight bucks. This, I think unlike Mark McGuire being a big fat cheater, cheater face, and nobody wants his stuff, I think that might do well, even though it has an association with uh, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, you might, this is t-shirts. We might look in the dress stuff. More Texas hats. Yep. Okay, so the new cart they just brought out had all these golf clubs on them. I didn't even check the price. I just pulled them off the cart. Four dollars. Little pink golf clubs at twelve. I'm sure this one's twelve too because it's basically the same set five. So this one is almost undoubtedly a get, but we're gonna comp them anyway. 
see it. Yeah, I don't see I, I've been looking at that for a little while. This is a, like, feels like Blackhawks. 2019. Mm. $2.84. It would be a pain to ship, but I imagine it would be relatively lucrative. We'll put it in the cart for now. Okay, how about Cursed Santa Claus? This looks like everybody's on my naughty list. Look at him. He looks evil. But I bet it's heavy. I'm going to look into it because it's the kind of thing that could end up being pretty valuable. So this could be a really good piece, but it's $17, I doubt it is. So this, not exactly this sign, but there's only one, Chica these are Chicago stars. Chicago Hockey Coors Light sign. There's only one uh, listed at all and it's $325. So we're gonna assume we can make money on that. So unfortunately, all the golf clubs are not really worth it. These are just in bad shape and I didn't notice it when I picked them up. So I didn't even comp them. And then these Walter Hagen are probably $25, $30 a set. And they're just not worth messing with for that. I don't think, especially not at 12. I think this one's like six, but still. And then for my mom and Levi. So back here is a Coleman. Party Stacker for $4.04. There are 38 Coleman Stackers listed and 113 sold. So, good sell -through rate, really good sell-through rate. Uh, I don't know what it's going to sell for. Let me, let me see if I can figure out what size it is. And it's not beautiful on the inside. All right, here we are at the second Goodwill of the evening. Oh, I got an idea. We're going to perfect oh wait maybe perfect look what i see it probably fell down that's pretty cool what'd you find levi a disney model toy set i would not have known to pick this up if it weren't for <laughs> a video we that's the same monorail one that we sold for 100 bucks mm -hmm. and it sounds like it has accessory in there so the Bronco doesn't have a battery or a remote control, and so it's not worth picking up. You could take it apart and sell the, like sell the shell, but it's just not worth enough to make it worth the time. This is the saddest little Goodwill in the world. Why? Um, there's just, the shelves are always empty and disorganized. Well, empty and disorganized works. For you. <laughs> what on earth is that? Power Spray Kenmore Carpet Cleaner. That's too big to ship easily. 514. Well, maybe it's worth a million dollars. Shocker. It's not worth a million dollars. There are a couple listed there, zero sold. People are asking $150 for it, but nobody's buying. Levi, don't burn yourself on that. Trying to find anything that is real good for making money. This looks weird. That Instapot has two lids. It's also $60 used, so it doesn't even matter why it has two lids. Maybe it's worth a million dollars. I said maybe something else was worth a million dollars. How about a... George Foreman Chicken Rotisserie. Make your own Costco chicken at home. Where are my true vintage people at? Leather fashions, cool vintage, raincoat, uh, $19. That's a cool coat and a pretty good price for it. This, uh, this brand I've done well with before. But I'm not gonna grab that thing because $19 seems like a lot to pay. All right, dudes, welcome back to Mod Pop Thrift. My name's Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my six children. One of which, Ruby, has been really sick. RSV, not good. Touch and go for a handful of days. We're we're on the downhill side of it now. She's gonna she's gonna recover really well, but it got a little touchy. Um and 
So I sold a whole bunch of stuff and didn't record video. I figured you guys would understand. Anyway, um, I can, I'll go through some of that stuff if there's something interesting. But this morning we have six to ship. Uh, I basically, yesterday, anytime something would sell, I would run out here, ship it, put it out at the mailbox. And I did like nine orders that way over the course of a couple hours before the mailman showed up. This, if you don't recognize, is from Big Idea, which is the company that made VeggieTales. And this is the Larry Boy Mobile. Not in great shape. It was in a grab bag full of cars. And I think I paid $16 for the grab bag. There were a few things that were good, but this was the main thing I wanted to get. I had it listed for 35 plus shipping for a long, long time and it never did sell. So I ended up lowering it and then taking a best offer of $20 free shipping. And I think I had it 35 plus shipping and then I lowered it to free shipping and then somebody sent me an offer for uh, $20. And I took it because it's been listed forever. I went to a yard sale and I got caught comping things at the yard sale. And the guy's like, hey, if you're selling stuff on eBay, I have a collection of stuff that I was thinking about bringing out here, but I really didn't want to give it away. So if uh, you're an eBay seller, can I show you my Darth Vader collection that I'm going to try to unload? And it was all this kind of stuff, but there was one figure that was worth about $250. And legit, I ended up selling it and got the $250. But I basically paid... $100 for that figure and a dollar a piece for every other figure is what we came to. And these are kind of the straggly ends. I think these literally are the last ones. Power of the Force, almost universally not worth much. Uh, 1995, this was kind of in the lead up to the prequel when they did the digitally remastered stuff. And then these are just, I mean, it is what it is. I had them because they were part of that buy and I made a bunch of money on that buy and these have been listed for over a year and sold for $17 plus shipping for the three of them. I got this vintage men's medium La Tiger cardigan on whatnot for $7 plus like $3 shipping so I'm $10 into it and it sold for $20 plus shipping in like a week. Vintage La Tiger cardigans do really well for me uh most of the time. I've got one that won't sell but I think it's a bad pictures, so I need to, but that one, uh, I knew at $7 and I'd already bought a couple of things. So the shipping was cheaper. I knew that one would go fairly well. Jimi Hendrix, this says it's a medium. It looks awful small for a medium to me. Uh, 2007 reprint. I bought this a long enough ago that I know I paid 222 at Goodwill. So I've had it for a handful of years, but it did eventually sell. I wouldn't buy it again. $10 plus shipping, which is a pretty decent price for a t-shirt you paid $2 for, but the sell-through rate was abysmally slow. I picked this up at a garage sale for like five bucks at the beginning of the summer, and I have access to a lot of vintage Cardinal stuff, but it just tends to not sell super well, so I don't, I'm pretty picky about what I pick up, but for five bucks, this was really cool and cheap, and I knew once things started to get cold, it would most likely sell, but it didn't sell for a lot, $20 on an offer, I think plus shipping. And this is a magnetic bumper sticker thing. Uh, most likely it's from like the year 2000. It's a whole bunch of Disney characters. And I had it listed for $9.99 and somebody sent me a $7.50 or a $6.50 offer. And I said, $8 is as low as I can possibly go with free shipping. And they took it and paid right away. So. It's out the door. I have nothing into it. You guys like my fuzzies? Hot curlers often do well. I won't buy them for very much. I know I paid $4 and change. We'll call it five bucks for these. And they sold in a couple of days, $40 free shipping. These I almost put back and then I opened the box and they were brand new. So I was like, well, that makes them worth more and more likely to sell quickly. So that's my items that have sold so far. Today, Levi challenged me to get 55 listed today. I don't know if I can do that at this point because it's like 11. Yeah, it's 11.10 and I haven't even started that yet. So maybe not the best sourcing day in the world, but we had fun and we got what we came for, which was close for you. Well, I came for other reasons. <laughs> but we got what we left the house for, which is good because you don't always do that when you go to Goodwill.
Um, thanks for watching. Liking, commenting, commenting, and subscribing. Following. And hitting the bell. We'll see you next time.